Talking about the Holocaust, a lot of people um, have compared uh, Castro to Hitler. And um, a lot of people have said, if you had the opportunity to assassinate or to kill Hitler, you know, in 1939, wouldn't you have done so? And I'm just wondering, in terms of Fidel Castro, is there, is there an argument for assassination or an argument that would have said, maybe this guy should have been killed or should be killed? I would never compare any demon to, to Hitler. He is in a special category of, of hell. And, but every dictator belongs in hell. And, and I would very much welcome the opportunity of uh, being in a free Cuba. And being in a free Cuba, whether that meant that somebody killed Fidel Castro or whether somebody toppled his government, um, no, I, I will not be shedding any tears for a man who has assassinated uh, people, for a man who has jailed uh, hundreds and thousands of the people whom I represent here in Congress, someone who has uh, no regard for human life, who has, uh, as, as recently as just a few years ago, sprayed water hoses of so many gallons of pressure on a tugboat that wanted to flee Cuba, and he killed men and women and children, and who every day uh, he sentences people to, to uh, prison sentences, for writing poems about democracy and freedom. No, I, I, I welcome the opportunity of having anyone uh, assassinate Fidel Castro and, and any leader who is oppressing, oppressing the people. And if they don't assassinate him and if they bring him to trial, I, I welcome the opportunity to, uh, to having him uh, meet uh, a jury of his peers. Um, and, and, and answer. And in the end, he will answer to God. And I know that the justice will be, uh, he will share that, uh, that podium along with many other tyrannical, tyrannical leaders. One thing um, I understand from talking to different people is that George W. Bush is a very strong supporter of the Cuban people and of your constituents. Can you just tell me a bit about that? You know, George W. Bush has, uh, has really reached out to the, to the Cuban community in exile, as well as to the Cuban people on the island. Uh, he has uh, told them that uh, he has no quarrels with the Cuban people. He has a quarrel with their leader, uh, the leader who has not been democratically elected, who got to power in a ruthless way and has never had elections. Uh, a leader, supposed leader, who has mismanaged the economy, who, who trades with slave labor, who does everything in an inhumane way. And, and George Bush speaks to us in that manner. He understands that uh, Castro is a cancer uh, for the Cuban people and that that cancer has to be dealt with and that he wants to be able to celebrate a, a free Cuba. And, uh, and I know that that day will come. So. George Bush has been a, a great leader. Doesn't mean that we've agreed with him 100% of the times on 100% of the policies. But when you talk about the big picture, that we want freedom and democracy to come to Cuba, and the way to do that is to strengthen the embargo and to isolate the regime, uh, the Cuban American community has seen George Bush as that leader. And he has helped the dissident movement and the opposition leaders in Cuba as well. In your first campaign for Congress, you received a strong personal endorsement from George Bush Sr. And I believe he appeared at one of your rallies, and he, right. that must have been really an important moment for you. Well, this was a, a very important race because it had been held by uh, a, a wonderful legend in American politics, Claude Pepper, who was there when the Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security programs uh, were initiated. So he's one of the few uh, members of Congress who had been laid in state here in the, in the Capitol Rotunda when he, when he passed away. So he was a legend. And so this was a big election. It was a special election. And uh, there was a lot of controversy and a lot of national attention placed on it. And uh, I was very honored that uh, George Bush, the father, came down to Miami for a special fundraising trip and, uh, and really reached out to all sectors of the community and, and uh, not only raised a lot of money, but more than anything gave the race the prominence that, that, that we wanted. So George Bush, the father, uh, uh, started us on this, uh, on this track to what can we do, what strategies can we propose to get us to a free Cuba? 